I got the goods. La 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 la. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I've gotten questions. Do you get paid for being a professional athlete? Yes, but this is not all mine. This is like a third of mine. I get paid good, man. I get treated well, treated amazingly, and I'm. I make money doing what I love, being a pro athlete. A third of this is mine, the other is going to Kanye and, and to Sergio. So how much money does a professional American football player make overseas? The answer is, it depends. And I'm gonna give you guys reasons why. There's factors that go into it. Where you're going, where you're playing, what the city is like. Is it a smaller city? Is it a bigger city? What country? There's a lot of factors that go into it. And then I'm gonna give you guys my actual pay here in spain so it depends like i said and it can go from 500 euros to a thousand euros it just depends on what league how they view you your pedigree and playing overseas because the longer that you've been overseas the more that they see you as an asset and they'll give you more money and also in the bigger leagues you'll get more money when i was talking to stugger they offered me 1250 so 1250 right that's what they're gonna offer me if i end up going with them and that's without being seen as a nfl experienced guy or a d1 all-american which would be more than that it's about 1500 1800 is what i was told so for me they would have given me 1250 at stuggard in mexico you get paid about depends also i mean everything's is very dependent but base pay was about 250 a game so like a thousand a month like here in spain it could be from 500 euros to 800 euros i'm pretty sure it might be a little more in madrid where it's bigger city more revenue coming in so it might be close to around eight to a thousand i mean it really just depends where you're at i know some gfl one teams pay some pretty good euros so about 800 also one of the biggest things that you need to look at is also where you're living where those expenses are going into because a lot of times when you go to play overseas and when you're going to a team, you don't have to pay for anything but food. And even then, sometimes depending where you're at, I know they have sponsorships with certain restaurants, so you don't actually have to pay for regular meals. You have to pay for extra food if you want extra food. For example, me here in Spain, they pay for my flights, they pay for the living, they pay for everything. The only thing I'm paying for and what the money they're giving me, they're paying me, is food. So if I, want to, if I want food, what food I want, my groceries and travel. But groceries here in Spain are super, super cheap. So I'm not even spending half of what I'm getting a month here on groceries. So the rest is for travel or for me to save or for me to use whatever way I want to use the money. I love traveling. I love saving money for, for things like that. I'm more of a travel person with my money than a materialistic person. So I like saving money for opportunities like that most teams and you have to check on what the team offers so not every team offers like gym membership paying for transportation paying for this paying for that not every team offers paying for flights so you have to check what teams offer what and you have to ask them to make sure before you sign the contract right pay for my flight pay for gym membership pay for a place to live food to eat pretty simple stuff they pay for pretty much everything when I first got here, they paid for the the initial food, and that was probably what two two weeks worth of food, a week and a half. I still have the cinnamon that I've had since the very beginning when I got here two months ago. I also want to add that in addition to paying for everything, paying you, man, they take care of you like no other. At least here in Kikon, they absolutely take care of me. After a game, they'll take imports out to eat. They'll pay for our food. I mean, there's a lot of ways that the experience is worth more than straight money. The way they treat you, you will never get experience that as a regular person moving to another country. And as it is, you will probably never get experience moving to another country in general because it's so hard just to pack up and leave to another country on the other side of the world, be alone, not know how anything works. So going overseas, playing American football professionally is just an amazing way to get the opportunity to do something that no one gets to do and also be taken care of in, in ways that and life really doesn't come around ever. But they treat you like family and like like brothers, and that's exactly what it is. I mean, they're extended family now forever, and brothers in Spain has a special place in my heart, man, because they've absolutely treated me amazing here. If I can give any advice to people 
back at home in the States. Man, if you're young, if you love traveling, if you want to see the world, man, go overseas, go play some football. And I will tell you, it's difficult in the sense of there's a lot of people that want to play overseas. So there's a large pool and very few can actually get on the field. I mean, they have rules against having so many imports to make it leveled and make it fair. In Europe, you can only have two imports on the field at the same time. So you can have as many imports as you want, but only two can be on the field at the same time. That being said, like I said, it's difficult, but once you get an opportunity, once you're in the pool of players that have been international, I mean, you start going other places, you start getting offers of other places, playing in places that you would have never imagined because there's football all over the world and you can travel the world and get it paid for. Like I said, depends where you're at, what the league is. ELF will pay more. Mexico, the LFA will pay more. Um, GFL 1 team will probably pay more than GFL 2 or 3 team. So it really just depends where you're at. It really just depends where the team is at, what kind of money comes into the team. And yeah, so that's how much uh, how much money you make playing overseas. It's crazy. It's crazy. Going straight from my last season in college straight to overseas and traveling the world and playing overseas has been absolutely amazing. Literally four months ago, I was playing my last downs of college football and now playing professionally overseas. <sighs> crazy, man. Crazy. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And stay tuned for more videos on American football overseas and everything about my journey being a professional football player. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.